ladies and gentlemen, Anne Palmer. Good morning, everybody. What I want you to know is that I'm doing something today that I've never done before. I'm going to totally surrender right before your eyes. And I ask you to help me create a safe container. Would you join me? Are you a highly gifted person who on the one hand finds delight in your gifts, but feels the burden of them as well? All your life, You've been living up to other people's expectations, and let's be real, it's actually been a big burden for you. This is a message for gifted and talented women who find themselves overwhelmed, underappreciated, and unable to keep up with the demands of the world they work and live in. Is that you? Have you ever noticed someone walk into a room and immediately you felt the energy shift in a positive way? That when they looked at you, you felt seen. When they spoke with you, you hung on their every word. And when they listened to you, you felt heard. That's what I call presence. And have you ever wanted to have some of that magic for yourself? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Ann Palmer. <laughs> you see, I realized with my real eyes the eyes of my soul, that as long as I have a pulse in my body, breath coming out of my mouth, and a temperature of 98.6 degrees, <laughs> that I would master the art of connecting with others. And what that means is that when I am with you, I am fully present. And when I connect with you, I'm with you. I see you. I like to start everything with gratitude. And I want to thank all of you for coming today and deciding to spend your Saturday with us because I know you have a lot of options. And so we're going to try and make sure that you walk out of here feeling as though you got value today. Less movement. All of a sudden it all comes into focus and you're able to be balanced and you're able to be very steady. So you did it. Thank you everybody. And say, I'm here. The dawn of a new day. With each sunrise, a brand new cycle begins. A fresh start is possible, emerging as an old one ends. A chance to wake up, a chance to open your eyes, to stretch and flex your muscles and to reach for the sky. And as I ran back, I looked over here to my left and I saw this amazing door and this flaming heart and it represents the energy of the divine, the fire inside my heart that lets me know that I'm getting ready to step into my divine birthright today and claim my voice, not for me, but as a way of serving all of you and helping you to see by example what it can be like when you claim your voice, own your dream, and step into your power. Ladies and gentlemen, 